It's Way Up with Angela Yee. And listen, I know Country Wayne has been here already, but you know you're welcome anytime. Appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Uh, to come on it. the show. And this is a special time for you. Yeah, yeah. Country Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, hey, this is that time, man. This is that time where I've been waiting on, man. It's the part of me that I really ain't shared to the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, let's talk about all the accomplishments that you've had, though, so far, right? Because you have um, the album that you did with Zaytoven. Yeah, yeah, That drip. project, Drip and Zay. All right. You also have the book Help is on the way. Mm -hmm. All right. You also had the movies um, Strange Love. For sure. And by the way, I've seen and read every single thing and listened to everything that you've done. And now you have your first ever one hour Netflix special. That's right, man. Hey, a woman's prayer. A woman's prayer. A woman's prayer. Man, listen, let me tell you something. We got to give it up for you because, honestly, like, you work so hard, but you deserve everything that you've been getting. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, because people don't even understand the grind of it all. And when they know your story, I actually did get a chance because, you know, as soon as they said you were going to be in town, I was like, can you send me the um, screener so I could see it ahead of time? Yeah. So I've been seeing, like, the previews on Netflix, and I was very excited for you. But I did get a chance to see it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> And when I tell you what I like about it is, you know, you're very relatable to people, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of us go through things in our families that is like our families are crazy. For sure. You know, and our upbringings are crazy. And I noticed that while I seen that you were posting it, A Woman's Prayer, why did you name it that first? Let's let's discuss. Because, you know, um, I, I talk about women a lot on there. Um, mm. And um, to be <laughs> honest, it, and that woman's prayer, I just all, I realized it was a women's prayer that kept, that kept me up. I figured out that in life. Okay. So I was like, man, a woman's prayer uh, have you up or down. So yeah. I was like, you know, I'm just, hey, man, so I'm a main subject about women. So I had to, I and it's a part of it on the special, what you probably seen, where I was like, a lot of men judge women. You know what I mean? Uh, harder than they judge us. Right. So I was like, man, no, nah, I realized that when I switched my life on how I looked at women, you know, because we do it worse than what they do uh, most of the time, sometimes. But I was like, no, nah, a woman's prayer, that's going to be the name. Because it was going to be helpers on the way, but I text them. I said, no, nah, it's a woman's prayer. Yeah, you are very catering to women. Oh, yeah. But you kind of don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of women to cater to. Yeah. And you have daughters. You yeah. Have eight daughters. I got eight daughters, man. Eight daughters. Eight daughters. Ooh. So that's something, you know, I'm going. And I know they be praying for their daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I promise you, man, them, man, them girls, I feel <laughs> I feel like that. Like my, um, my daughter Zari, the one, she kind of changed my career path because I was about to get in a relationship one time. And she was like, uh... Daddy, no. She say, not right now. I say, I say, what's wrong? This girl was 10 years old at the time. She say, well, I say, why you don't want to see me in a relationship? She say, because when you're in a relationship, you Dwayne. But when you free, you country Wayne. Ooh. And I was like, your children, them girls, they say profound stuff all the time. And uh, they, they keep me on point. But, man, it was at that point where I switched. When I got out of a relationship, everything just turned up at another level because I didn't have to worry about a uh, uh, partner and the moves I was making. But... Yeah, man, a woman's prayer. Uh, women, the daughters, and everything. Man, I learned a lot about. My mama taught me a lot about women, so yeah. I, I learned mm -hmm. the power of a woman. Um, a power of a woman's prayer. And your grandmother. Oh yeah, yeah, my grandma for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting because I do feel like people pass judgment, right? Because they'll be like, "Oh, country Wayne," and it's a subject you always have owned and and have had to talk about, though. Because mm -hmm. even in the comments, people who follow you will be like, "Oh, a woman's prayer." Well, you got you know, 10 kids, how is that a woman's prayer? And it's just interesting to me because you take care of all your kids, yeah. right? And it seems like, you know, you're there at the basketball games. You're a dance dad. Mm-hmm, a dance dad for sure. <laughs> and, and, and they good. All my kids who play sports, well, not one of them play. But, uh, yeah. I was like, one hey. of them what? <laughs> yeah, everybody went good. But, no, nah, I'm, I'm at all the events. I take off. Like, I took off Um, my son. He playing varsity. I took off. November, December, January, February. I ain't going on tour until March. Supposed to start start your tour in February. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to late March in case they make the playoffs. Like I'm very involved in, the, in their lives, and uh, like all the women, all the mothers of the kids, they all took them care of. They're mm -hmm. living well, and I set them free. I don't hold them hostage because I'm taking care of them. Right. Whoever they talk to, if they got a man at their house, even though I pay the bills or whatever, people call me stupid. But I know you've been saying, listen, yeah. people go in about that, they, but, but it's a big topic though, right? Yeah. Because it is true, you know, for some guys, like we know, first of all, men, I think in general, hate the child support system. Yeah. Like I hear so many people talk about that. Who was up here? Dwight Howard was up here. Yeah. And But I also understand that for a lot of women, 
men aren't stepping up to the plate, you know, the way that they can. So it makes it hard. There's no blanket uh, way that you could fix that situation. It's hard to be a mom. That's a job within itself. And a lot of men I've seen, and I never addressed this, they'll be like, Wayne, you simping. I'm like, all right, so as long as I got to make this clear. It ain't too many celebrities that look like Wayne, swear like Wayne. So even if I didn't have money, I always had women anyway. So I'm definitely ain't simping mm-hmm. because I had, <laughs> come on now, who get women like Wayne? I ain't seen nobody out there for real. Right. No celebrity <laughs> who was that him before they got fame. I, I'm just being real. I ain't no country Wayne's out there, and I know that. And I just be real about that. Like, I always had the women before money. And when they, when they say the simple comments, I don't never really address that. But I say, I'm going to start addressing that because let's be clear. If I ain't have no money, my baby mama would take care of me anyway. Mm-hmm. I was that guy that girls would let sleep. If I really want to be that guy, <laughs> the girls, they going to let sleep on the sofa because I'm blessed, blessed. You feel what I'm saying? Where do you think that you got all this, um, I guess, I don't know what's the word that you would use, but why do you think that women have always been attracted to you from a young age? Like even in spite of when you didn't have it the way that you have it now. Like you said, you always had women. Well, I was blessed with good genes. You know what I'm saying? My mama, and, but... Uh, my mama was homecoming queen. My sister was homecoming queen. My baby mama home. My uncles was the flyest guys in the streets. My daddy always had the women. So it's just like you seeing that and me seeing that, it gave me a confidence and I learned women at a young age. Okay. So I always had the upper hand on men because I'm a listener. Mm-hmm. I'm a man, but I listen like a woman. So okay. I listen I listen better than I talk. You know, so I just always had that, man. I always had the women, man. Seven of my kids were before fame. Right. People got to understand, like, this fame ain't, I've been the guy in the streets, I, and and it ain't simping, it's because money is not my strength. Okay. So I give it away because I ain't need that to get what I had, so I, I really, that's why I give away money. I don't give away time. I know those women are like, I knew one day he was going to be somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody from my hometown always, always knew, man, because I had it, you know, I had the nightclubs. <laughs> Uh, I had the nightclubs. I was always popular, and my family was popular before me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, my daddy them I had the cars. My uncles them was the fresh ones. They knew how to dress. They had all the women. So, and my mama was popular. You know what I'm saying? She was Miss Jiggas County and all that. And so we was like, our whole family was lit. But I was the one that I stayed out them drugs. Right. I ain't never. You know what I'm saying? But you and your dad, and you talk about this in the special. You guys sold. Um, yeah, yeah, we hustled together. Cocaine together. So cocaine together. <laughs> Were you good at that? Oh yeah, I was good at. I, I made know, it some out. Some people sold drugs, but they wasn't no. really like. And I was real good. I was <laughs> off the rip. Like, you know, I sold it early. You know what I'm saying? But I was so good at that because I treated it like a business. Mm-hmm. First trap house I had, uh, uh, my baby mama dad, uh, stepdaddy gave it up because he couldn't he couldn't get it to jump. I said I'll take over the rent. Man, four weeks. Man, that house was we called it the yellow house. It was <laughs> it was jumping because I knew how to market. Right. I had a car on twenty twos. Uh, me and my brother, we both had a crown bigs on 22, so I parked it in front of them. So all the girls and all the dope boys, like, them boys must got money. This one, 22s and crown bigs was popular in the South. <laughs> so it was advertisement, and the house was jumping off the roof. And, um, yeah, man, I always I always knew how to get that money. Yeah, because I always feel like people who could do things and be successful, even if it's not legal, if you mm-hmm. could flip that into something legal, yeah. then it's like nonstop. Because it feels like you work nonstop. I know you took a yeah. break, you know, to make sure that you could be there for your kids and for your son to be able to make the playoffs. But even when you're at home, you're still working. Oh, you're still working. Because, uh, you know, and I did that without a gun. And when you do it without violence, I ain't never had a gun. Right. So, cause my my I, I had game. Was your life ever in danger though? Like, did you ever have a situation where you felt like, I yeah. don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this? Yeah, my brother had me, man. We some Jamaicans about to kill us. I was about to die. He <laughs> mm-hmm. had me. That brother right there had me, and and we don't went to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I found so I thought I found the plug on uh, the plug, <laughs> and um, uh, but I peeked out the rip. I always had strong instincts. I'm like, hey man, something ain't right with these boys. They had guns. They had guns long. I said, man, these boys, these Jamaicans about to rob us. So I talked, uh, I talked kind of fast. I was like, hey, man, we got to go use the bathroom. It's bathroom. I got to use. He's like, we got one. I said, nah, I really got the. So we, they let us go outside to use the bathroom. I said, bro, let's run right now. These boys about to rob us, man. I could feel it. He said, no, man, you find the plug, bro. You just trust me this time, bro. You did. I said, nah, these men about to talk. Bro, just trust me. Man, we got another. Them Jamaicans went to talking. <laughs> And I already peed. I know we about to die. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to see what window I'm going to try to run out of. Whatever. Man, he messed around. And he when he hit that weed, that's why some people need to smoke. Uh, if they smoking already, it, it becomes a tolerant. He smoked that weed and he hit it. Then everything I've been on, it hit him. He was like, 
hey man, <laughs> I think we need to, um, I'm like my brother, we come back tomorrow. He said, no, 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 no. You ain't coming back tomorrow. I told you my business. Hey, 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 brother. So I, I've been a... I've been in danger for real. <laughs> you know, but for other people, my daddy had me in danger. The feds came to the house. Mm -hmm. I talked about that in my special yes, because of my did. daddy moving. So it was always their mistakes because I always moved careful because, you know, I was always sober. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always got my rest. And I just, I always move. I always move a little different. And do you feel like, you know, with everything that's been going on with the specials, with you going on tour and really proving yourself, selling out shows, do you feel like you're getting the respect that you deserve now from other comedians? Oh, the comedians? No. You know what I'm saying? Still? Uh, Even with the Netflix special on the way? Like, who are some people to hit you up to say congratulations? Oh, Ced Cedric Entertainer. Everybody congratulate me, mm -hmm. though. Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up. Everybody really hit me up. But a lot of comedians, um, now Kevin Hart didn't know because he told me one time when I met him, he was like, man, I'm a fan of your hustle. I, I said, I don't know if I'm a fan of your comedy yet because I ain't seen your stand-up. I'm mm -hmm. like, bro, you just don't know. I hear that stand-up for a minute because I knew it was wrong. Right. I ain't want nobody to really see it. But, uh, but yeah, everybody really, every, all the comedians know. A lot of comedians just don't want the public to know. Okay. It's like an inside thing. You know, that's how I be in the streets. The guy who um, really getting the work, uh, <laughs> who really getting it. The, the the guys don't tell their girls <laughs> because it's like, dang, they knew how much he was really that right. the dub. But no, nah, the comedian give me respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to get, um, I don't really care for real anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, but comedians give me my respect. But the people just going to be shocked when they see that special, though. And, and you know what? Just you even talking about things in your life, it feels like you have such a, a different type of path. Like we've never, I don't know any other comedian that's come up the way that you have. Nah, nah. You know, in the game, it feels like a series. Yeah, yeah. You know, like how Miss Pat has her series. Yeah. Like I feel like a Country Wayne uh, series could be something that's in the works, just based on your life. Yeah, definitely, man. It's different because a lot of people seen it too. So you know how we heard a lot of stories in music. You have to hear their story. Mm -hmm. You trust what they said on it. On it, but with Country Wayne, everybody like, nah, but we seen this boy for real grind. And I never asked the industry for nothing. You right. know what I'm saying? I, you know, I only got small a friend of friend. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart said you're entertaining. There's certain people in the industry I rock with, but um, man, the grind because I never, I never wanted. I don't like nobody really telling me what to do. Cause I quit. Mm -hmm. If I if I <laughs> If I walk in work, oh my God. if you I walk in work, that's such a man thing right there. I walk in work, bro, and I feel like something against my soul. <laughs> so I never really was knocking on Hollywood door like that. Cause I'm like, even if I get in a movie, when I heard people being a hundred million dollar movie and they the star got paid a million, mm -mm. I'm like, I can't. Right. Nah, so I rather. But the way you came up, like directly to consumer, you yeah. know, just being on Facebook and being able to monetize mm -hmm. that. And social media, the way that you have, it gives you a different type of mindset because yeah. the money that you make already on your own, yeah. you know, doing what you do is great. It's crazy. So it's not about just money and always. Because I'm able to make that money now without even working. So what made you decide Netflix was the move then? I knew because if I would have went somewhere else, the, the fans needed to see me, people need to see Country Wayne at that level because... People know I'm there. When they see me, they're like, man, why ain't there? Because he, he know him, still not shows. He got the Rolls Royce. He got the houses. Everybody around is eating. But to to the consumer mind, it's like Dave Chappelle's on Netflix. Kevin Hart's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So to, to the subconscious mind, when they see Wayne on Netflix, this is my first public thing Right. that's really national. I'm like, if I hit Netflix, I know what time it is. I already knew. I said, man, when I get to Netflix... And I draw this Netflix, the game over because. How was it negotiating that deal for you, being that you are a hustler and you didn't necessarily. I need... I negotiated the deal that, we, you know, is now because my lawyer, <laughs> I, the one I got, it, 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 it was different because I didn't, you know what I'm saying? It's by ownership. I just, I'm straight. Like, <laughs> it was a new kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? It was a new kind of deal. And, um, you know, even the situation my lawyer really can't even talk about it. Like, right. It was a it was new kind good. of deal. It was a new type of deal. Okay. Yeah, and that's how deals. So there's some ownership involved. 100, 100%. Okay. 100% right. ownership. I got it because, I mean, like, I like the way that Joy Co Joe Coy does his, where he films it, you know, in the beginning. He couldn't get his deal with Netflix. Yeah. So he filmed it himself. Yeah. And then that does give you a lot more leverage. And you film yours in D.C. Yeah, so. I put up my own money. Okay. Yeah. I think that's always a smart thing, but and you had the money to put up, so yeah. it gives you that creative we got, freedom. We, we got that Fantasia song in there. Yeah. I ain't know she was gonna charge me that much for <laughs> it. Good God. 
But <laughs> tell you, I thought we were friends. Oh damn. <laughs> Well, you know, everybody got to eat. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, but what about, okay, so when you filmed it yourself and handed it to them, were they, then is there an editing process where they're like, well, I don't know uh, if we could put this in here? or No, nah, they were like, they were happy, man. They just sit in the bed. They were like, man, this spells so funny through and through. And you don't even curse. Yeah. It's like you was selling drugs with no gun and you selling comedy with no curses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you can't, you know, like Solomon said in the Bible, you can't be, too holy and too wicked. You gotta stay in the middle. In this world, you can't be too holy, you know earthly good, but you can't be too wicked. So it's like, man, I, I always find that fine line how to um how how to walk on this earth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause this earth ain't heaven. You feel me? Saying it's a lot of wickedness going on, but you got to find a way to still keep some morals. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't finna man, we ain't finna take rape, steal, kill, none of that. You know what I'm saying? We just get money and I love beautiful women. And I love <laughs> and I love my kids and I love people. So uh, the comedy, the doing without the cursing, I knew that was gonna be different. Mm -hmm. Um, because really, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's just a different lane, and I had to do something to challenge myself because comedy was so easy. I felt like I needed. I'm petty like that. Right. I always want to do something different. I said I'm gonna do it without cursing and still get that paper. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a non-cursing comedian, but it ain't too many people get more money than me a show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. It don't got it don't got crazy. So now at the point, you said before you were gonna get in a relationship, your daughter was like no mm -hmm. when she was ten. So where are you at now? Cause I see you buying vehicles like for my next, you know, this is gonna be for my next yeah. lady. <laughs> that and we call that fishing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's you letting people know nah. I'm single, let me fish, throw that nah, out I, there. I, I ain't really fishing though. It's gonna have to <laughs> it's gonna have to be somebody who really understand me, man, and um uh, and know that, man, I'm just peaceful. Like I just wanna I just want to live. Can I you be trusted? Oh, yeah. In a relationship? You know that. How do I know that? You know that. I'm a trusted friend. <laughs> you know that. As, you a, as a friend, yes. But listen, men are very different in friendships than they are in nah, relationships. Nah, I could be trusted. There's plenty of guys that I'm like, I love him as a friend. I couldn't imagine dating somebody like but that. Listen, I'm, yeah, I'm a, I, if a woman, if I tell a woman I'm going to be faithful, I'm going to be faithful. Mm-hmm. That's, okay. Yeah, it's easy at this point because I don't really got time. Right. I want to walk, you know, have a girl walk through my basketball game, my son's basketball game, you know, um, <laughs> you know, saying I don't, you know, that ain't, you know, it just, it's going to have to be somebody who really, um, who really happy with life at this point on their own. Okay. That's true. Somebody who independently got it going on, they happy, and then mm -hmm. they don't have to rely on you for nah, that. No, for energy. Like, I don't mind the money, just the energy. Like, you got to be lit in your own way. Would you put her in your skits? Oh, she going to have to be. Because <laughs> I ain't finna mess up my storyline. <laughs> <laughs> what if she just low-key and she like, I don't Hey, if she low-key, she going to have to be 100% low-key. Like, can't nobody. <laughs> but if she want to be seen on the red carpet, I'm going to have to write you in the skits and Wayne get a girl. And the world going to have to know we together. And that's cool because now we can, write, we can wake up and make this money every day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like the way my life set up with them skits. I thought about that. Whoever that girl is, man, we're going to have to, if you want to be seen, I don't mind. But we're just going to have to write you in the skits. We're going to monetize this. We got to monetize yeah, this. We got to monetize everything. Yeah, this is just, <laughs> it's just too much money on the social media. This don't got crazy. Like, so it's like, come on, man. That page making money right now while I'm talking. <laughs> uh, and you've also really helped a lot of people. Um, get their start in doing things too because a lot of people I've seen for the first time just from watching your skits too yep. and then you see them doing other I'm gonna things. put Mike Bliss out there because he told how much money I'm making but everybody need to know I pay Mike Bliss eighty to $100,000 a month so Mike you just, your business just got out there because he put my business out there everybody started asking for money oh look Cedric the Entertainer just walked past oh yeah just FYI yeah, that's my boy. hey that, that, now that's one who took me in off the real like Cedric Cedric came and um he um he really took me in man like off the rip. He was the first one that seen it because he came to my show first, mm -hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? But said no so. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a situation where you felt like somebody like stole any of your jokes? I always hear comedians oh, yeah. talk about that. Oh, yeah, they do that. That's why I kept, that's why I kept myself. I don't really do no show. I don't like doing no package shows or none of that because they will they will steal your jokes because everybody's not creators. Most people are imitators. Mm -hmm. See, that's why creators get wealthy. Right. For real. Right. Uh, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Tyler Perry, that's why Tyler Perry got more money than a Will Smith <laughs> and didn't even, his con Tyler Perry content never even reached the heights of those movies. Right. But when you're a creator, everybody else know how to imitate. And people Im talented at imitating, mm -hmm. but creating, you got to be careful because people going to take it. Like when I dropped this special, like it's a lot of Mike Epps right here right now. A lot of comedians, new comedians, 
they are, uh, without them knowing it, they got Mike Epps mannerisms. Yeah. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of hard because you watch people growing up, coming up, and then mm-hmm. next thing you know, you're adopting like the things that they do because mm-hmm. that's who you kind of admired. And so you hear that in music, and people also like to compare. Yeah, a lot. I've never heard anybody compare you to anyone. They else. can't because when you find yourself in real life, uh, Rob Stapleton told me that. Uh, shout out to Rob Stapleton, man. He said when he first met me, he was like, "What well, he found out about me, it take a comedian twelve years." When you find yourself, you out of that's the hardest thing for a comedian. Mm-hmm. So everybody is unique. If everybody finds them individual individual selves, you're going to be different. It's like Sade music. Right. She oh. she knows who she is. So when, it's like when she turn her on, you like this is Sade. And nobody sound like Sade. Nobody <laughs> sound like Sade. So Country Wayne, man, thank God, you know I ain't get famous till I was like 28. So I had been through a lot already in life. So nobody can't. Take they they can take it, but they can't talk about it thoroughly because I'm really subject matter, and I'm talking details. So mm-hmm. what people understand, like when I talk about the streets, I'm like a, a quarter brick, nine four way. The, <laughs> the streets know. So when I talk about women, I'm like this or that. They're like, oh, that's so true. Oh my god, I want not know that. So they really can't take what I do uh, because they can't compare me with nobody because they don't they don't really understand me for real. And there's some things that you talk about that are so funny, but it feel like. I shouldn't be laughing at this. <laughs> you know? I mean, you talk about your uncle, right? Yeah. Hey, a lot of that stuff, boy. <laughs> my grandma think I'm going to get, she said, boy, when that special drop, she really think I'm going to get counseled. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about that, though, because, first of all, it's it's like if it really happened. I think as, as kids, you know, if yeah. somebody was around us and <laughs> as we're learning about, like, HIV as a kid, yeah. it was something that we're it, like... We looked at it different yeah. than now. You right, know what I'm saying? now it's like you could live and have a good, yeah. healthy life as long as you're taking your medication and doing what you need to do. But back then, it was like, a, you know, it we was, didn't know. We, 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 as kids especially. I was nine. I'm 35 now. So you know how we looked at it then. So... Mm-hmm. That's why I was clear to explain that when I told that joke. <laughs> That's I said, one thing I was like, man, it's so true because it make you laugh because you like, we was like that as kids because it was newer to us. You know, you just think, all right. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to give it away, but when you guys well, watch it, give him some grace. <laughs> <laughs> I was nine, though, man. You know, to see that at nine years old, you like, oh, and then I, everybody in the kitchen, I see it. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my family, man. Hey, hey it's one thing. Mm-hmm. Have you now? Let me tell you. Now that you have a lot on the line, have you learned to um, pull out more? What to my pull out of one? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, 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 like I but you, you how you did it just now. I, I, I really. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I been, it look very but, effective. The but way. a lot of you know what I'm saying. After I had them babies, you know, since 22, I've been. Um, I would use protection anyway. Most women, unless right. it's somebody. A couple I really, of them, yeah. Yeah, a couple of them. I don't really because I I made a mistake for. I dealt with more women from the age of 14 to 22 mm-hmm. than I did between 22 and 35. Okay. So people don't do the math. Like, the reason why, you know, they get on Nick Cannon, uh, but they can't get on Country Wayne because right. I've been had these kids. I did, yeah. These children, teenagers. You did it first, yeah. Yeah, these ain't no new celebrity babies. My, no, nah, man, my baby mama from the, my baby mama is just sexy red. <laughs> <laughs> then we call well, they not sexy red now, but where we was at, they was sexy red. At, you know what I'm saying? So we come. I, mean, I had these kids at, at at that stage of my life where, hey, we we wilding. Hey, we, hey, we you know. So that was a different that was a different stage in my life, man. Uh, now you know I'm real careful. I ain't about man, bro. I'm man. I I so whoever get whoever I talk to for real for real. Man, I already know, man. It's going to have to be right, man. Right. Yeah. Can you see your kids, like, call, if you ever get married, like, calling her mom and think, or you think they're, like... Man, them children too, uh, man, them children too independent. But if people meet my children, because I don't raise them to the point, they kind of, like, nah, they're going to call them by their name. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be, um, uh, I ain't got no but two young kids. Right. For real. Um, And they kind of, like, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a uh, village. So... That's a tough thing for a woman to step into. Yeah, no, nah, really. Like, nah, it yeah, is, it, it is, because that's intimidating. That's like a lot of people that gotta like you. <laughs> no, nah, but they gonna no, they gonna like her though. That's a lot of people that gotta like you. No, nah, nah, they, 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 they gonna like her because they ain't been disrespect me like that. My yeah. kids, they really, they, they like what I like, and I like what they like. You know okay. what I'm saying? But no, nah, it ain't nobody with me and my son stayed in my house for real. All mm-hmm. my daughters stuff, they got rooms there, but they all stay with their moms, but. No, I, I I've had friends. I had girls that came around. My daughter and my daughter said that. Now it's one of one girl that she thought I was talking to. She liked her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it you just, wasn't. 
My my kids just don't want me to go backwards for real. Okay. They want me to talk to somebody lit. Right. That's what it is. I, I ain't want to say it. <laughs> but that daughter who said that. <laughs> they want to be backstage. At the <laughs> they, wanted to, they want me to talk to somebody who on my level. Okay. Of, they and got other stuff going they on. They should want that. Yeah, yeah, they do. They they cool with that, but they just don't want me to go backwards to nobody who ain't really, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, turned up in this. Because, you know, you got to be you got to be. What about their up. moms? How important is it that they, like, is it hard for them to get along with somebody that you're dating? Or nah, do you man, them? they don't really, they live, they, at this point, you know what I'm saying, them girls don't see me with public relationships. I left them before, when, them girls ain't, they know me for real, so mm-hmm. it's like they know. Okay, well, we probably can't never be. Uh, you know, eventually, I'm gonna get somebody. Uh, you know, especially especially in a little while. You know, I'm 35 now, but I got a lot going on in business, so it's like I'm just focused on that. But nah, man, it's really it's peaceful. It's peaceful right now because I don't tolerate that. Right. I don't tolerate. Ain't no. I don't, ain't no arguments in my house. Ain't no smacking no teeth. We ain't no energy in my whole village. Nobody argues. Nobody does none of that because at the end of the day, man, everybody really blessed and free to do what they want to do. You need to teach other people because people be having so many issues. It's that money, though. It's that uncle. I hate to say it, but man, <laughs> you got to really. If you're not, if you straight as a as a mother, a father of them kids and them baby mamas was with you at a certain point and they not living a certain way, mm-hmm. they gonna be mad. Right. Right. Especially with the internet now. Because also the other thing that's hard sometimes is you feel like when you do a lot for somebody, sometimes, and I found this just for myself, I'm, you know, not in that situation, but sometimes the more you do for somebody, the more they expect from you too. Yeah, they expect it. They yeah. expect it. But me, for, for my peace, because whoever I get with, man, they're going to be peaceful. And I know I bring that. That's why I'm particular. That's why girls be like, uh, like, who you think I'm black? What's you? I'm the catch. <laughs> she finna have peace off the rip. She going to be... She gonna be happy off the rip. She gonna be like, you know what? I didn't even know Wayne. I just feel so good. I'm just so happy. I don't even care about nothing no more. Life is just, you know what I'm saying? I know what I got to offer when it comes to woman. I'm training that. My mama prepared me for that. My mama, I started naming her Mama's Prayer because really the, the woman's prayer. prayer got a lot of meanings to that. But my mama prayed for me to be the man that she'll deal with. Mm-hmm. And most women, you know, most women, uh, I'm a universal type. Because, you know, at the same time I'm corporate, but at the same time I'm hood, same time I'm intelligent, same time I fight. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm in a lot of those boxes because my mom, she really um she really shaped me like that at a young age, to be like that for women. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, good for her. And, you know, just even thinking about how you are with that, I want to talk about your business sense, too. How did you realize, because in the special you also do talk about um, credit, Mm-hmm. Right, because good credit is important. But coming from you know your hustling background first, and then realizing how you can monetize what it is that you do, but also just getting like your whole business together and having people around you that you can trust financially. How hard was that to learn how to to do that part? Because sometimes like we're just trying to figure it all out as we go along. Obviously, we're going to make a lot of mistakes, mm-hmm. you know, with people who are around us. But when did you realize, okay, this is what I should be making. I could make money this way. I need to make sure I clean up my credit, you know, mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, and, and buy houses and invest. I worked at a company called Southern Company. It's a power plant in uh, in Georgia that's real popular in the South. Mm-hmm. Um, matter of fact, they're in Georgia, Mississippi, and, and Alabama. Because when I got my probation my first time, I, went, I got 10 years probation. I had to go. Ten years is a long yeah, time was, to stay out of yeah. trouble. Well, I, I and I tried to just not sell dope for two years, you know what I'm saying. But I had to get back in the streets and hustle again. But I hustled for seven years while I was on papers. But uh, to, to your question though, so I seen how that company ran. They took care of their employees. Mm-hmm. So I figured out there that to to have a successful business, man, you must take care of your employees. All the big businesses, I studied them, and I read a book called Become Me in That God's Way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, what I do, I overpay people. Oh, wow. So I learned, I learned the game. I'm Y'all like, hear that? <laughs> so I'm like, if if they do cross me, they have to cross themselves first. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do no when people, when I get people to come, I already had a number in my head, bam, 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 and I'm serious about that. But I learned that if you got people time, because I look at these companies, man, when they give people a check, they get that job, their energy. Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, if I want to become the company, if I take care of the employees and they feel like they got a consistent income. The business, and I knew to leverage my credit because when I was in the streets, I used to get 
use my credit good, go use my titles to my car. Mm-hmm. I used to go get bank loans. Oh, it, when I like, cause I I might be bringing plies, cause I, was, I used to bring artists, but I still need to buy this half a brick. You know right. what I'm saying? So I'm like, dang, I got to put this money to, to bring plies, so I go to the bank and get a loan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To buy me some work, so I could do both things at one time. Oh damn! And uh, I learned credit was credit was leverage. You know what I'm saying? So. I, um, that's how I survived during the pandemic because I, I always keep my credit and I use cash so my credit I always prepare for when I have an idea mm-hmm. like I got this movie idea the movie gonna cost me about 10 million and I'm, most likely I'm doing it with a studio but I'm prepared just in case they don't want a partner right. I'm prepared to go get the cash because I know how to make the move I know how to go to the banks and make these moves and get this money when you did Strange Love was that a movie that you financed? yeah I financed I, mean, wow. I went half on um, Mega Mind Media you know what I'm saying? So we own 50 50 of the movie. But yeah, I put up my own money on that. <laughs> uh, what a funny idea. You be just having some random ideas pop in your head, boy. Yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't my idea. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> they wrote that movie. Uh-huh. I just jumped in it uh-huh. just to learn the process. I say, I knew because they ain't my style of writing. Mm-hmm. I say, you know, um, but I say, shoot, it's good enough. It would be funny enough to get through. And I was like, I, I need to learn the movie business real quick. Right. I need to learn how to do that. And through that process, I learned it. Now, this movie I got right now, it's a major player is going to be in this movie. And I'm talking about, uh, you know what I'm saying, higher level actors. Okay. And I already got them. I already got the script done. Uh, name of the movie is going to be it's gonna be. So lit. this is a script that you actually. Uh, yeah, this one mine. Okay. It's okay, going to be one of them country again. Wayne, toxic relationship situation. Oh Women going to watch it, get triggered, and loved at the same time. It's, this going to be that movie that the culture... Uh, and, and I'm just going to keep them coming after that. Because what's funny about you is you say things that I know women love. Like, one thing you always say is you don't care about a woman's past. No. Like, nothing that she did in the past, you know, none of that, none of that bothers you. But do you talk? Do you want to know about it? Uh, if, even if it doesn't matter? I, I, I want to know about know? it if she want to tell me. Because most of the time a woman really want to tell you stuff. Because they need to get, they either want to tell you or a therapist. Okay. Because uh, most, most people want to get stuff off their chest anyway. And every woman I talk to have told me some deep stuff. And I think what keep women close is the fact that, hey, Wayne know all this about me. Mm-hmm. And he still treat me the same. Right. You know, uh, and I learned, I've learned, i learned that, man, because that's when a woman's going to be free. Because she want to feel brand new, man. Like, the past is the past. So when she in that relationship, she want to feel like she she don't want to remember those moments. So she don't know. A, a, a human is punished enough, especially women, with the thought of what they did. They don't need you like, dang, da, 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 da. that's why I put it in the special what you say, well, what about what our mamas did? Because mm-hmm. right. every man mama <laughs> done did that dirty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, like, you know, people be like, how can you believe in Jesus and, and the stuff I still represent? Like, I don't represent, like, I don't listen to Sister Red like that, but her song slapping. Right. But I'm like, at the end of the day, we all know Sister Red. She just being real about it. Mm-hmm. And, it, it, and and I'm just like, man, at the end of the day, people grow it uh that peaches and eggplant remix. Man. Did you hear that with Lotto and but, <laughs> Young Duty? Hey, you know oh, what? My God! And I, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, since everybody talking about <laughs> hustle, but I can't. Am- I got to admit, bro, them got their songs slapping. They really are, yo. <laughs> hey, and y'all been doing that for decades. Okay, let us have our fun. And she really, <laughs> and she's so serious. I say, bro, I'm gonna be honest, man. A lot of people open the door for the since red, <laughs> but I think since red. What happens is in life, in in the industry or whatever, where, wherever you pretend to be, the real one coming. <laughs> wherever everybody acting ratchet, they got a real one now. <laughs> and you could tell because it's not a character. She's like, you know, with my round. She keep a still face. Mm, and, it's down, and it's good. And you and see it in my eyes. And I'm bad. Mm. And you like, shout it like. And then you listen to them songs. She got by three in rotation right now. Right, absolutely. But like, she ain't finna. Because when Trinidad James came, we were like, Go down. What the other one? What the other one? Right. But <laughs> off the real, she got three slapping in the club. And hey, she bro. really being herself, walking around. It ain't, she, ain't finna, money. she ain't finna fade away for a minute. I don't care what nobody say. I, and you know what else, too? She just own it. Like, she yeah. came on lip service. She says some things, and what the blogs pick up. You know, they'll pick up, like, the craziest part and forget about everything else. And she didn't even care. She was just yeah. like, yeah, that's right, you know. Yeah, she coming from, hey, man, that girl coming from poverty. At the end of the day, when somebody comes from poverty, you can't judge them because, hey, at the end of the day, man, people who ain't from poverty don't understand. It's different. If she would have grew up in the White House, she would have been a different. 
Right. Different version of that. <laughs> different version. But yeah, I don't deal with women that, see, I'm in both levels. I don't deal with women or the ratchets or the ratchets, and I don't deal with women or the corporate corporate. And I, one thing I know a lot of it in common, the only difference is your environment where you come from sometimes. Because mm-hmm. everybody, everybody, come on, everybody have fun and I get down. Right. You know what I'm saying? But shout out, man. I'm, man, I'm thinking, man, I'm song slapping, man. It, it's like. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Drip might got to do something with her. Yo, yo, I hit up. I, I hit up yesterday. I was like, "Hey, man!" I say, "Hun, see that? Hun, drip got to do it. Hun, drip got to do something." I hit up yesterday. I was like, "Man, hun, drip got to do something because I'm a fan. Of, I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of the art. Who people are? That's on them. But man, when you listen to them song, the beat and she just how she ride the beat. It's just some people just got that. Them things slapping, man. Yeet. It, it's like, <laughs> just, hey, it's snapping, man. Oh, well, I love to hear. Well, Country Wayne, as usual, like, thank you so much. You know, anytime you're in town, I'd love for you to come through. It don't yeah. even matter if you was just here last week. Like, I, hey, I really appreciate that too, man, Angela Yee. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember the first time I met you, I said your name wrong. Remember that? Oh, you did? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you it, was, it yeah. wasn't you, it was Drip. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you keep, <laughs> yeah, man, you, you keep your word, man. Like, like anything, anything you need on my end, you know what time it is for sure. All right, well, thank you. Always appreciate it. Make sure y'all check out Country Way and a Woman's Prayer. That is out on September 19th, September 19th. on Netflix. The game changed. When Country Wayne dropped, the world going to be different. That's right, and he is himself at all times. I already know this is just the first out of many, so I'm excited for you. Yeah, for and sure. I know you got big things coming. He don't sit down for a second. Oh, Even nah, when he's nah. sitting down, he's doing something and making money. No, nah, we got to do it. We got the movies coming on the way. I to put together this script. It's going to be crazy. And, hey, man, but that special, going. I feel like that special is, is special because nobody ain't expecting that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody expecting it to be raw at the same time. A lot of people don't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. But them subject matters, I, 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 I've I watched that special 10 times to make sure. And I know how people going to feel when they watch it. Right. Well, it all starts off with a prayer. <laughs> you know. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee, Country Wayne.